Tonight we're hearing from some of the state representatives who were there for that impassioned speech this week from President Zelensky. Almost Kelly Koopmans has their reaction and what some think should happen next. A round of applause from the U.S. Congress as Ukrainian President uh, Volodymyr Zelensky appeared by a live stream. In that crowd, representatives from Washington state. We spoke with several of them following Zelensky's plea for assistance in its battle against Russian invaders. Representative Rick Larson has the highest number of people of Ukrainian descent among all congressional districts and says Zelensky had the room enthralled. Well, President Zelensky is uh, clearly... Uh, the leader that Ukraine needs now. It's very charismatic. Uh, his uh, speech, which was uh, given in Ukrainian and translated, uh, really made an impact uh, with the members of Congress. But emotional impact aside, many, like Representative Pramila Jayapal, remain firm. Granting a no-fly zone over Ukraine is not an option. Your heart breaks and you want to do something, but we also have to remember that the consequences of the United States going to war with Russia would be even more dramatic than what we're seeing right now. Representative Del Bene says what we can do is provide resources to aid Ukraine's military and humanitarian needs. Both of those are incredibly important. Um, the president um, announced $200 million over the weekend, additional $800 million today. And that's on top of the over $13 billion that Congress approved last week in, um, in assistance to Ukraine. Assistance to fight back against Russian President Vladimir Putin and his army. This week, President Biden calling Putin a war criminal. I think he is a war criminal. A sentiment echoed by Representative Marilyn Strickland. He is a war criminal. He is killing civilians. And this is just completely wrong. And while doing this, he's trying to reconstitute the USSR. And so we want to make sure that we are standing behind Ukraine, that our allies are united, and understanding, too, that this is about being an American, not partisan, not Democrat or Republican, but being united as Americans. Kelly Koopmans, Como News.